video is sponsored by Apex. I love building, but to build, you need materials. And I'm so lazy. And what do I hate the most? Chopping trees. Oh, I hate it. So today, we're gonna build a gigantic, fully automatic TNT powered tree farm, all in Minecraft hardcore. I am so excited for this episode. Finally, no more chopping wood like some peasant. Right, Mr. B? I think he agrees. But to make a giant tree farm like this, we gotta go get a lot of materials. These kind of farms are not easy. Let's get to work. Now, for any automatic farm, the main ingredient is always redstone. So I flew down to the nearby mine to go collect a bunch of it. Hello, creepers, how you doing? Nice to see you too. But okay, where's the redstone? Hello, redstone. All I can find is diamonds. Gross. Aha! Hello there, my redstone friend. I need a lot of you, thank you very much. Almost got it. Oh, that been so sick. I really tried for that one. Well, hello, mine shaft. Funny seeing you here. Oh, what do we got for loot? Eh, I mean, I'll take a golden apple. Sure, why not? And that right there should be enough. Sweet. So I carried on grabbing all the other materials I needed to make this very complicated tree farm. This included things like slime blocks, TNT, redstone components, and even wood. Well, this is ironic, isn't it? But you know what they say? You gotta spend wood to make wood. Or is that money? I don't know. The point still stands. But then we we had a small issue. Uh-oh. It appears I don't have any honey blocks, which I need a lot of. That's not good. I kind of forgot about that little detail. Well, down here, I actually have a small bee farm, but I don't think it produces honey blocks. Hello, gentlemen. How you doing? Please, 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 please. Ah, it's all honeycomb. I need honey bottles. Ah, dang it. Well, it looks like I'm making two farms today. Let's get to it. So I hopped into a separate creative mode world and tried to design a bee farm. I don't think this is working. I might need some help here. So instead, I found a farm on YouTube YouTube and began getting materials to build it in my hardcore world. I'm just trying to find some string. Cause for some reason, Minecraft made it where you gotta use a bow to make a dispenser. It's so unnecessary. And boom. All right, so my plan is to build this farm inside of the greenhouse in here if it'll fit. What are you doing? Um, I don't know if it is gonna fit. It's pretty packed in here. No matter. Cause over here, I actually had this small little honey cave. It's a really cute little build, but I probably could just break back here a little bit and make a little honey farm back here. I'm down with it. Let me just get some assistance and kaboom. Haste for the win. And as I make this bee farm, please subscribe and hit the bell. Excuse me, invisible man, can I help you? I don't know where you are, but I suggest you leave. Oh no, he despawned. Oh, so tragic. I'll just grab some extra beehives. Come on, get in. Yes. But I still had to find quite a few more. Nope, nope, nope. Finding beehives is so hard. No, 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 get back in. I'm not taking you. I'm just saying hi. It's all your fault. <laughs> okay, here we go. And now to get some glass from my favorite villager. Hello, buddy. How you doing? I'll be taking some of this. Thank you very much. And here comes the moment of truth. So far, so good. <laughs> Look at them all following me. Okay, hypothetically, this should work now. So I guess now we go AFK and get our honey blocks. And a little bit later, we have a good amount of honey. But ladies and gentlemen, that means we can officially begin work on the tree farm. Oh, I forgot what AFKing does. It spawns these little rats. As a matter of fact, why don't we sleep first, shall we? Much better. But carrying on, I had to find a good place to build this tree farm. Oh, you know what would be epic? If I built the tree farm right down here where I have my giant hunk of spruce wood. This was kind of like my first real tree farm. So we should pay homage to it and build right here on this spot. I say we do it. Now this farm is really interesting. Basically, this machine grows a bunch of trees for you automatically. All the logs then get filtered out to the middle where they are blown up with TNT. Long story short, this farm is sick. So off I went, terraforming the land so I have space to build this giant redstone machine. Wait a minute. We are Come on, do it. Do it. Aha, check it out, mob head. I love these things. Okay, back to work. This farm literally hurts my head so much. But you gotta do what you gotta do to get infinite wood. All right, here comes the moment of truth. Put the TNT down. Um, something's not right. The TNT is supposed to be duplicating. I gotta go figure this out. BRB. So I broke it down, remade it, and after that, it worked fine. All right, we fixed it. Now all I gotta do is load up this chest with bone meal. Click the lever. Stand over here. Start holding down the click. And this should... Oh, it's moving all the wood. This is amazing. And the TNT automatically blows up all the wood and puts it down into these hoppers. Oh, let's go. I'm so happy now. So technically, the farm is done. But if you truly know Farzy, you will know this is not 
not enough. Most of my farms look ugly, so I usually try to make a giant build to make the farm fit in more. And for this wood farm, I'm gonna make a giant wood factory. And ironically, to build this factory, I'm gonna need a lot of wood. So I'll be here for a little bit. And as I collect wood, let's hear from today's sponsor. So Apex Gaming PCs and I have decided to team up to make the perfect Minecraft PC. I used to have a super laggy computer, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat. So if that's the case, go click the link in my pinned comment to check out my PCs. Also use the code FARZY to get up to 250 off your next purchase. Uh, why'd it stop? Oh no, it's out of bone meal. I didn't even think about that. Well, this is a problem, because this factory is gonna be really big. So I'm gonna need a lot more bone meal. Why'd I put it right there? I nearly had a heart attack there. But okay, let's grab some more bone meal. No. No! I only have two pieces of bone meal? Wait a second. So I had to get a lot of bone meal in a hurry. But I didn't really know how. So I asked the smartest person I know. Oh, Broderick, are you home? Broderick! How's it going, buddy? I need your help. And he explained I should make a skeleton farm. That way, I can get bones pretty much automatically. Thanks, Broderick. Ooh, before I leave, let's see if there's any new chapters in Broderick's journal. Uh... That hurt. But carrying on, let's get back to the bone meal. I do have a secret skeleton farm under this well, but the only issue is it's a really slow farm. Oh yay, 10 bones. So you know what that means. We're gonna have to make another farm today. And to do that, I had to find another skeleton spawner. So I grabbed the essentials to go on a big caving adventure. This is the biggest cave I know of in this world. So I guess we start down here. On we go. Aha, mine shaft. There's usually spawners in these mine shafts, but even after half an hour of running around, I still couldn't find any spawners. I literally can't find anything. Wait, I hear something. Ooh, spawner. It may be a zombie spawner, but I did tell you guys, spawners can spawn in these mine shafts. So I was right, but we gotta keep going. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Well, hello there, skeleton. Show me your home. And he heard me loud and clear. Spawner. <gasps> skeleton, skeleton, skeleton. We have found a skeleton spawner. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's go. Well, okay. With the spawner found, we can now go make ourselves an amazing skeleton farm. And we shall have infinite bone meal. Let's do it. Fun fact, my first ever big video on YouTube was a skeleton farm tutorial. You're talking to a pro here. So we do some of this, some of this, some of this, some of this, and there we go. A giant water system that leads them right down into a one block area, and we make a mob elevator. And it's time for the moment of truth. Break the torches and run back down here quick. It works! It works! Yes! Now all I gotta do is make a little room here to AFK in and we're good to go. So I broke out a big area and made a nice little hangout room using wood, red carpet, and red terracotta. What the heck? They're cycling bows! Look at that! What is going on? Look at this guy! He's going crazy with it! But carrying on, check out our little AFK room. It's absolutely adorable. And to get out, we go up here and we pop out right here in this giant field right in front of our base. In fact, I'll make a little hut here so I can see it better. Absolutely beautiful. I even added some bone blocks to make it look more realistic. Probably a waste, but you know what? It looks cool. But now it's time for bone meal. That should be good. Restock the farm with the bone meal. Kaboom. And let's get back to work, folks. And after collecting a ton of wood and other materials, it was time to begin by terraforming the land. I severely underrated how big this would actually be. I'm probably gonna spend more time on the land than the actual factory itself. And yeah, that was pretty accurate. Excuse me. Oh, and the rest of your family's here. Try to build a mountain, please go away. Thank you. And to make the hill even more epic, I added in these giant custom rock walls too. Like I was not exaggerating. That's literally like a new mountain. And it looks absolutely insane. But now it's time for the good stuff, the factory. And to fit the theme, I tried to use all wood. I am so thankful I have this wood farm now. Ah, uh, what do you guys think? I think it looks quite handsome. I am gonna take a small risk here. Since we're using TNT to get the wood inside the farm, I kind of want to put some TNT around here as like decorations almost. But I really hope my TNT won't like make a chain reaction around the whole place. That would stink, wouldn't it? What could possibly go wrong? Perfect. Now here comes the tricky part. So the farm is actually lower than the actual front door of the building. So somehow I have to make this work. Let's see what I can do here. I'm trying to do some, like, big grand staircase system like this. And I kind of like it. Ah, I don't like you, though! Now, I was gonna replace the floor, but I don't want to touch the redstone and, like, break the farm. So I'm just gonna build the floor, like, around the redstone. And hopefully it works out. 
Looking good, looking good. I mean, the torches aren't very pretty, but the rest of it is, so I'll take it. And I probably should make, like, a staircase to get down to the chest room. Uh, what are you? Oh, hello! Army. No creepers, please. That was kind of scary. And there we go. Nice little pathway down to the chest room. But okay, it's time to test it. Will the TNT chain react and blow up the entire factory? Find out next. Let's see. Please, no, no, no. I think we're good. I hear nothing else. Oh, that's a relief. And of course, I gotta top the whole thing off with some decorations. So I'll just make some log stacks over here and there. Boom. Perfect. And add some chunks of leaves. And there we have it. A fully functional redstone tree factory. But believe it or not, I actually have so much more I want to do today for this project. But first, I gotta take care of something really important. Last episode, I said if the video got 20,000 likes, I would blindfold myself and go fight an army of angry mobs. And you guys absolutely nailed it. So it's blindfold time. Okay, all I can find is like a scarf. So I'm just gonna tie this around my eyes like that. Oh, that could work really well. So here's the plan. I'm gonna fly out to a big open field. Over here should suffice. And I'm gonna take off my totem, pop on some armor, and start a five minute timer. This could get bad quickly. Now I just need the sun to set. All right, the sun's down. So that being said, let's start the timer. Put the blindfold on and the headphones on. Okay, let's use our senses. I broke something. I hear a chicken. I hear... Oh, I heard something. What the... What was that? Ah, I like this. What am I hitting? I feel like I'm not using my sword. Ah! I'm definitely in the water. Ah, I like this. Did I lose him? Then go back in the water again. <laughs> I heard damage. How do I eat? I'm trying to eat something. Oh, I got it. Okay, future Farsi here. How did I not die? But sadly, I was stuck in that cave for the whole five minutes. So the challenge kind of ended once I fell in. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, well guys, I did it. I hope I did good. I mean, I'm not dead, so I guess I did do good. <laughs> but that being said, if this video gets 20,000 likes, I will drive to the store and buy the entire inventory of Minecraft toys. Imagine if they have a full inventory. Oh, I really hope not. But carrying on, I headed back to the factory to get more work done. As good as the area looks, there really aren't many decorations around the outside. So I gotta make it look pretty. So we're gonna make a small road here going up the hillside. Oh, it's looking so good already. I swear it's rained like 10 times this episode. And check it out. A great pathway straight down to the wood factory, which leads right back up to my storage house. Now we just gotta add some more nature details around the place. A little moss never hurt. I have a hot take. I think moss is the best block ever added to Minecraft ever. It just makes builds come way more to life. And the best part about it, you can hide hidden lighting under the moss too, just like that. No mobs are spawning here. Aw, oh, you know what'd be sick here? If I made some small villager houses along this pathway up here, just to kind of expand our town a little bit more. Well, we certainly have the wood for it, so I say we do it. Really good small additions here. They're little cute houses, nothing too big, but they fit in so nicely. Right along the pathway, you can hop right inside of here. I'm not gonna lie, there's nothing in here yet, but eventually I'll decorate it, put some beds in there for the villagers. I'm pretty sure all my villagers are dead right now, but when I breed more, they will go in those houses, I promise. But then I realized I forgot something. Wait, I forgot to decorate the honey farm. I'm so silly, look at it, it's all gross in here. Considering I just decorated the other two farms I made, I gotta decorate this one too. And I kinda wanna use yellow. Hello terracotta, if I can get more. Adventure time. If I recall correctly, there should be a mesa biome right outside this portal. Aha, I was right. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Guys, look, I'm crawling. Best mining strat ever. Side note, look how sick the map looks down there we built. That looks absolutely insane. Our little town's getting really big. But all right, it's bee farmage design time. And check out the new and improved honey farm. But on that note, make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.